Hey guys, what's up? Future Wolf here, and I'm gonna have to see you guys the past wolf just because that past wolf has done a summoning that was like way earlier. Just because I was pretty much really eager to see what I would get. But like I said, I won't summon it without you guys. You know, I'll always record it, then I'll just put it in the video, just mash it up together. So I'm gonna see you guys over to past wolf. Then he'll do the intro that I've already done. Oh, yeah. How does that work? Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome back to some more Alchemist Code. Uh, today we're going to be doing a summon. Uh, since this one only lasts for like a few more days, I was just thinking to myself, let's go ahead and just do this. Uh, I, I don't know if I feel safe doing it, but you know what? We're going to do it. Let's see what we get. Come on. Look, please be on my side today. Oh no. Oh, seems like we got yellows though. So four star to five star potential. Huh. Is she a shrine priest? All right, got some more stuff for her. Thank God. All right, I can make her into a beast hammer. Good. Hope I get more of her. Um, this was due to me. She, he isn't. Never seen him before. Must be Spearman. Now we got a limit break and. Oh, that's Thief. Alright. He's also new to me. Well, that's unfortunate. But at least we got a lot of, um, shards. Uh, no, she's mage. Huh. Oh, I have a lot of wins, too. So this could be really useful. And plus she goes to 5 star, so yeah, I'm going to keep her, definitely. This guy. Oh, he's a dragon knight, okay. Huh. Kind of like his design a little bit. As for you, what are you? You're also a soldier. But you can change to Hunter and Crafter. Hmm. You? Oh, you're a thief. What? A thief with a magic passive. Okay. <laughs> well, I can change her to Encanter. Okay. I think I like it. But... Have to see how that plays out, though. I think I like all the things I just got. I was literally hoping for more limit breaks for her. That would have been nice to actually receive. Would have been step closer to um, Holy Cavalier, but that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and flip the limits into her. Alright, there we go. Uh, don't have the stuff for her. Well, the rest of the stuff we need. Hmm. Wait. I was about to say, you don't have to be, like, max level, do you? If that was the case, you would have... You would probably want to like wait off like um limit breaks into the end <laughs> i do like how she looks in um beast tamer definitely can't wait to use her when i up her a little bit more all right hey guys welcome back 
Um, I have tried out Arena. It's pretty interesting to watch your characters fight. And I've tried out, um, what was it? Multiplay. And now, that, that's actually pretty interesting. I like playing with the others. Uh, I do plan on most likely doing a stream today. It's probably going to be around nighttime, pretty much just into the Dragon Blaze Chapter 5 comes out. Then I'm going to switch the stream over to that. So that's going to be fun. I finally got uncomfortable with this game to where I can talk about other things instead of just staying on the topic of the game. About time, right? I've been doing a lot of dailies. So I am finally level 25. Alright. Finish her off. I definitely like this archer, especially her look. I figured out none of the characters have any like real really anything special from each other except for like their um party skill. Other than that, there's nothing extremely different between any of the characters. Could you, could you not? Could you just accept your fate? And their design. That too. And them just having like different classes. And maybe a few of the stats. But nothing like extremely different. How do I explain this? Basically all the jobs. Let's use Archer as a uh, example. For the archers, whatever they have on the job as of right now, let's see. Let's take a look at her. I think it'd be easier if I just went to it. So all the abilities I would have in here would be on the other archers. It doesn't matter. None of the archers have like different skills that, you know, put them extremely out there. I don't know about the um, master ability. That could be different. Who knows? I doubt it though. But I was also looking at something that was pretty interesting. Trying to learn uh, stats and everything. I went to help. Then I think I put in stats, right? Yeah, here it is. Statics and effect. So I haven't officially looked at this, uh, I was planning on looking at it with you guys, just in case some of you new players came in and were curious about some of these stats, because I was curious about Quicken. Alright, so Poison decreases HP by 10% for each round. That sounds pretty nice, especially for like bosses. Um, next is Blind, decreases physical attack hit chance. Hmm. You would think it would increase your chance of hitting them since they are blind, right? I don't know if they're going to add that later on. Alright, silence. Disable use of magic. That can be annoying. Especially if you have like a team of magic. And they get hit with that. Alright, sleep is unable to act for three turns. Recover when damaged. So you can just put them to sleep and just leave them there for the next three turns. Sleep could be useful for certain situations as well, but if you have a, a lot of AoE characters then that could be quite an issue, depending on how you are able to play. Okay, Petrify. Unable to act until status recovery. Wait. Unable to act until status recovery. What does that mean? Is it like uh, you have to take it off? Or is it just like a time thing? Because they would normally just tell us how many turns it takes. I guess petrify just means you stay frozen? It's just something happens? I don't know. Maybe somebody in the chat will explain that one to me. Because I haven't seen a Petrify character at all yet. Maybe we'll see one soon. Alright. Delay. Slower charge time for several turns. 
that could be great for putting on any character that has any charge skills like archers then there's uh mages and ch chanters i think i haven't used a chanter yet i know cryos have them as for quicken that speeds up the whole um charge time so i should be putting that on my priests and my mages and everything all right stop is you just completely freeze their charge time and they're unable to act for several turns i've seen this just because i have a cryo man a cryo nancer and she is actually pretty good with that skill if it works on certain bosses i'm guessing that's going to be really strong because you can hit them no matter how many times you want it's literally just turn base Alright, Death Sentence. Death Sentence is pretty similar to um, if anyone has ever played uh, Seven Knights. It's pretty much like that, where uh, there are a few characters that can put on a Death Sentence, then it'll take a few turns, and when it hits that certain amount of turns, they just literally just die. Except for with Seven Knight, it's pretty much when you hit somebody with the Death Sentence, that character with the Death Sentence can only at normal attack twice. Skills don't count, so they can just use a skill and the death counter won't go down. But, if they normal attack twice, they die. So this one could be really, like, different from that. So it could be like, as soon as it gets to the character's turn, it could go down, or it could just go down no matter what turn it is. Because that could be pretty strong. But, also in 7 Night, if you hit somebody with two death sentences, they automatically die instantly. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Alright, Curse. Make skills and items that recover status ineffective. Oh. Hmm. That sounds nice. Curse can be removed by defeating the unit which used the skill. Okay. Alright, that's something I don't see in a lot of games. Killing a target to take off a certain effect. That is really nice. That shows you how how really in-depth some of the games can get. Some games, not all of them though. I don't think they want to put all the effort into it. At least they put effort into this one. I mean, this is the same company we're talking about who put like a lot of work into Brave Frontier and finally just made this game, so... Hey, I, I give them that. They, I praise them for that. Alright, so Charm is next. Because I'm able to control will attack friendly units will recover when damaged. So you could have a character that could counter and as soon as it hits you, you'll counter back and charm will be over. But if it's a ranged character and a real powerful ranged character, you could be in trouble just because you have to uh, run straight to them. Or you, if you have like two rangers, you can get that one back in control. Alright, Paralyze. Combo and Reaction Abilities will not activate for one turn, so that means Reaction Abilities as in Counter Attacks won't work. And Charge Skills are Interrupted. There's a chance that the unit may act. May act, meaning they don't have a full chance of getting out of the Paralyze and attacking you back. Stun. Stun is completely useless from what I've seen. The only thing stun is good for is canceling charge times. Stun. Combo and reaction abilities will not activate for one turn. So that means pretty much that as soon as you stun them, you're going to need your character to start, start welling on him because the next turn he gets, he's automatically out of it. For some reason, Paralyzed seems a lot longer now and, now and then. For some reason, I see it going for like at least two turns for some reason. But, like I said, it has a May chance of act, so I'm guessing that has something to do with it. Alright, slow. So, a character can only move one square for three turns. That could be extremely annoying, especially if there's a ranged character that has a skill like that. That's definitely going to be troublesome. Alright, bind. Cannot move for three turns, but you can act. So that means you can just attack, but you can't move. Days cannot act, but it is possible to move. 
I mean, you can't fight, but you can move around. Confuse. Physical attack bonus and physical defense penalty for three turns. Oh! Unable to. Okay, so that's pretty much like um, Pokemon, where you use, um, what was it? Swagger? I think that's what it was. Where it boosts your attack, but also, like, confuses you. It's kind of like that. And Disable Hill is pretty much self explanatory. So, yeah. No recovery skills can be used. Don't say anything about items, though. So, yeah. Before I got sucked into that, we need to start doing a couple of our dailies. Another level up, sweet. Let's at least do one of these today. Then I'll see you guys whenever I start up the stream tonight. Well, there's probably isn't that like a full-on chance that I'll play this. If my friends want to hang out, I'll probably stream with them, if anything. Maybe. Really depends on what happens. I keep you guys updated on Twitter, if anything. True. He's right. <laughs> okay, so he's not a complete douche. Oh, that's just me. <laughs> oh no, Daddy. What are you doing here? Why does the old man like to sneak up on everybody? This is my next question. Philosopher stones. Am I? At least they didn't try to bring back their mother. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that comment. <laughs> Now we gotta go get that Philosopher's Stone. Oh, what the what the hell? I thought we were fighting actual enemies, not rabbit bunny like things. Oh, take off that auto. Nobody told you to do that. I'll sit here just because if I go in there, I'm going to get hit. Or maybe it won't hit me. I mean, it's Holy Ray. But I'm not gonna take the chance. Uh, what I'm gonna do here... I'm actually gonna give her the, uh, Quicken. Oh, that's some really weak ice. What am I gonna use here? See all the skills she has. 100% chance of hitting. 
That's nice. Hold on. See? Quicken is really nice because I get to just attack the next turn or immediately. So good thing I did look at that. Because I did just learn a lot from all these, like, different abilities that happen. Wait, I think I do have... No, I don't. I was about to say, I thought I had Holy Saber, but I did not. Let's just toss a rock at his face. That seems very effective. I don't think I can reach that, so what I'm gonna do is give that to her. Completely heal a unit and recover stat. So that's what it is. So petrify can't be taken off until I do this at least? Is that what I'm guessing here? Yeah, I'm still thinking about Petrify. <laughs> oh, I gotta be a little bit closer. Really? Well, I can attack myself? Oh no, I can't. I was about to say, what is going on here? So, while we're at it, let's go ahead and do, um, multiplay. Because I did say I was going to do it in the future for you guys. Do I want to change this spirit? Nah. Let's just go to an easy one. Oh, I do need some beginner goblins, so I'm going to join that. All right, there goes some people. Oh, well, I guess he's just gonna use that character. So this is pretty much the waiting lobby and everything. Where you guys can change around your skills or characters. Then they put you in. And everybody gets their own turn of controlling their own character. That's what I like about this. Then they give you several of these to... Look at. Alright, nice damage. Gotta get that out of here. I'm guessing my turn is after player one. And plus, you do get coins for doing this as well, so it is pretty nice to do this. That's not gonna do any damage, buddy. Sorry. I could have joined a higher one, but I do need some of these golems. Because I do have a few level ones. Well, star ones. Jeez, man. The most OP rock in the world. I was looking at this dude, he was level 34. I guess he just didn't want to leave everybody waiting or something? 
Even if everybody dies, I don't think I'm gonna die anytime soon. Oh. Probably should have changed the character, buddy. Yeah, mages are actually pretty strong in this game. Mostly because they're charged. Their skills are mostly charged, so I guess they have to do more damage. Do I have... Nope, I still don't. Not right now, at least. That's unfortunate, because I could have went over there and holy savored both of them. I still can't holy save her, just because it's still pretty high. I need three more points. So she'll receive a little bit of damage. She won't die, though. Because she's pretty tanky. Yeah, you should be dead. This is the funny thing about Mosey play. So for some reason, they can't really process all the walking around and everything. I wouldn't come over here if I were you. He's trying really hard. He should be dead now. Compared to this uh, class, Spearman isn't half bad. Just because you can have like a little bit of distance between you guys when you attack. And uh, boom. And there goes your points at the top right here. You can use that in the shop. The same shop is right here. Um, few of them are pretty high. But the thing is, with this, if you're joining somebody's room, you don't use any stamina. So join as many people's room as you want, and you can pretty much get up there. There's not really a limit to how many you can do, so... Doing this and getting all those re rewards in exchange is pretty easy. So, it's not really all that bad. You just gotta play a few matches with others. But if you were to make your own room, it would use your stamina. Because it's using the stamina from the main, um... From the main leader who created the party. Not anybody else who joins you. So... That's why I like multiplay. Multiplay is really fun. Especially if you got people do knowing what they're doing. I'm gonna grab this. And this, I should level up. No, hold up. Let's do four. And that completes that quest. And level up. Sweet. So there's also another thing I recommend. I recommend doing all your dailies. Because you get these uh, keys. Especially for the gold key. To keep your money up. Because each of these dungeons last for, let's say, I think 30 minutes. So 30 minutes of grinding this compared to the weekend. Where it's just like, you can only do three a day. This one is infinite. Into... 30 minutes is up so if you can kill the enemies pretty quick then yeah you pretty much are already done and another thing about arena that you guys probably didn't know you can actually skip ahead in the battle just to see just in case you don't want to watch the battle you can just go in here and 
Go to menu, then skip. And it just already tells you who won. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.